Uh, now I should use the current range switch. Uh, you, this is the product you get. It is default to 12 MP range. And here is the uh, output voltage and current default set. And this is the uh, OCP and OVP value. Uh, now we turn on the output. And I switch to a 6 MP range. You can see the output is turned off automatically. And uh, the setting value already changes. It changes from 12 MP to 6 MP. And uh, when I change it back to 12 MP, it will not change for safety reason. It still is a 6 MP range. So at this time, I set 10 MP output and uh, turn on the output and I turn on the electric load. You can see the protection uh, function will work because the OCP value is only 6.2 MP and I set 10 MP. Uh, you need to set a higher protection value so that it will work. Hello, now we test the voltage and the current currency between setting and the output. Uh, we use this 7.5 decade multimeter to check the output voltage and currency. Uh, we will test the, diff uh, the currency on the different voltage. Now we set 0 0.1 volt and turn on the output. Here is the real output testing. Now we set 5 volt. Okay, now we set 30 volt. Now we set 4 output 60 volt. Okay, because this is a 3 MP multimeter, so we use this multimeter to check the output current currency okay now we set the output to 5 volt to test the current uh, currency uh, we use this uh, electric load to set the output current now we set 0 0.1 amp and turn on the output. This is the output on our device. Uh, this is the real output current tested. Now we set 2 MP. Uh, this is uh, our output and this is the uh, tested output. Now we set 5 MP. This is a uh, 6 range uh, and uh, this is uh, now we set it to 12 MP range to check the output and the real output. Now we need to set it to over 10 MP because we are are going to set 10 MP output. Uh, because we switch uh, 6 MP to 12 MP, so the protection current value is 6.2 MP. We need to set the 8 value. 
now we turn on the output. This is uh, our output. Uh, this is the uh, real output. Well, now we show you the output repo of our RD6012 plus. Uh, this is an electric load, so we do not use it because it will affect the real output uh, repo. Uh, we use this uh, traditional uh, resistor as load. And uh, this is a, a device to show you the repo. And here is the setting. Uh, it is AC coupling, 20 megahertz, and uh, one time range, one mega ohm input. Oh, okay, and uh, now we set five volt without load. Turn on the output. Uh, you can see the uh, output repo is about. 10, 11 millivolt. Uh, we set it to 60 volt again. Now it began to 12 and uh, uh, I adjust it. Now you can see it is about 12, uh, 13 millivolt VPP repo. Okay, I connect the load and I set uh, the output repo is about sixteen millivolt BPP. And I set it to 5 volt with load. You can see the ripple is about 10 millivolt uh, milli VPP. Hello? Uh, in this video, we are going to test the efficiency about our new product RD6012 Plus. And uh, this is our new device. This is the electric load. This is a multimeter to test the input voltage and uh, power. Now we are going to test the efficiency under different voltage and current. First, we set 16 volt and 12 ampere output and turn on the output. Here is the real output and here it is the input power. So the efficiency is about 95% now we set the voltage to 30 volt. Here is the real output power. And uh, here it is the real input power. Now the efficiency is 90.7%. Now we set the voltage to 60 volt and we set the current to 6 ampere and uh, enter. Now here is the real output. Here is the real input power. Now the efficiency is about 95 0.6%
okay, this is a typical efficiency about RD6012 plus.